Hey, hello everyone. This is your professor Nilesh Anandwani. I am again welcoming you from my coaching class, my video lectures from the Anandwani Biology classes. Guys, जैसे आप सभी students को पता है कि हमने NEET के ऊपर एक series शुरू की हुई है और उस series में हम हमने starting किया हुआ 11 standard NEET. First unit is a diversity in living world और first chapter है उसमें the living world. तो दब लिविंग वर्ल्ड में से हमने काफी सारे वीडियोस ऑलरेडी अपलोड कर चुके हैं और आज का हमारा जो टॉपिक है वो है हर्बेरियम तो आइए जानते हैं कि हर्बेरियम क्या होता है एक्सेक्टली सो फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल व्हाट इस मीन बाय हर्बेरियम क्या होता है हर्बेरियम हर्बेरियम कैन बी डिफाइन एस इट इज नथिंग बट � and actually for the dry you can use a pressing method or also you can use a, some other chemicals like acetic acid etc etc so first of all plants are collected they are pressed they are you can say dried and then they are stick or mount on the one paper sheet that paper sheet is called as a herbarium sheet i'll show you this one so generally a kind of a herbarium sheet is provided from the biological department this is called herbarium sheet and this herbarium sheet is actually divided into two parts in first part you can say plant material and second part systemic classification I will give a common example, for example suppose you are going to do the herbarium of a china rose ok, suppose you are going to do the herbarium of a china rose so scientific name of a china rose is hibiscus rosa sinensis scientific name of this is a hibiscus rosa sinensis so first of all what you have to do you have to collect the any part of a rosa sinensis plant especially if you get the flower then flower is always better so first you take a flower keep it in the notebook and keep the notebook either below the bed or either somewhere where it will get slightly weighted so after uh, after a few days what will happen after a few days plant material will be fully dried so after uh, dried what you can do just take Say for example, this is so likewise you will you will take that flower and with the help of a fabric whatever you can say gum you will stick or you will mount or you will either staple on this herbarium sheet and at another side what you will do you will do the systematic classification kind of classification like kingdom yes division okay up to up to likewise genus and species hmm? just like the kingdom we will write as it is a flowering plant we will see kingdom planting then division as it is a flowering plant we will say angiosperm likewise series class etc etc order family then finally genus species like a genus is hibiscus species is rosa sinensis this is called as a this is called as a herbarium herbarium sheet yes guys so this was the basic herbarium now tell me basically actually what is the uses of herbarium मैं youtube पे मेरे सभी students को एक एक मिनट का chance देता हूँ कि आप इन्हें basic mind में guess कर सकते हो तो आप इन्हें मेरे वीडियो को पोस्ट कर दो और गेस्ट कर दो कि हर्बेरियम की यूजेस क्या होंगे ओके तो आई थिंक आपने अगर गेस कर लिया हो तो देखिए हर्बेरियम की यूज क्या होते हैं जैसे ही हर्बेरियम आपके पास अभी रेडी हो जाता है तो इस हर्बेरियम को आप कलेक्ट करके यूनिवर्सिटी बायोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट में आप स्टोर करके रख सकते हो जैसे ही न्यू ईयर न्यू ईयर न्यू ईयर हर साल नए नए बच्चे आते जाएंगे वो बच्चे हर्बेरियम शीट कलेक्ट कर बनाते जाएंगे और ऐसे ही कुछ सालों के बाद हमारे पास काफ़ी सारे प्लांट की डिटेल इन्फॉर्मेशन डिस्क्रिप्शन हमारे पास कलेक्ट हो जाएगा 
therefore there is a uh, you can say purpose of study is called herbarium so herbarium is nothing but collection of plant pressing of a plant you can say drying of plant and sticking or mounting on the sheet called as a herbarium sheet in india famous herbarium is found in kolkata which has around 20 lakh herbarium sheet which has around 20 lakh herbarium sheet it is believed that the number of uh, plants which includes algae, bryophyta, teredophyta, angiosperm and gymnosperm five divisions are there like in most probably most probably herbarium sheet you can collect the different different varieties of plant this herbarium sheet is very important uh, you can say assignment for the students also and it is also good for the researcher people also those who wanted to do the PhD and he is not getting that plant uh, and not getting a systematic classification as well as description so he can search about the herbarium sheet in any botany department and he can study that well I think so you have got my content what is herbarium so herbarium sheet is how the plant ko leke aao so press karo dry karo herbarium sheet ke upar chipka do aur side mein uske baare mein puri detail description likho jaise systematic classification matlab uske pura classification likho aap medicinal property uske uses aur description bhi likh sakte ho so thank you so much guys for watching my video it was about the herbarium herbarium and mere uh, aur bhi video paane ke liye please mere channel ko subscribe kijiye aur bell icon dabana na bhulega agar bell icon nahi dabayenge to mera jo naya video aayega aap tak nahi pahunch payega so thank you so much guys